perfect. Thanks. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about um, the linear algebra work that we are doing, and it fits actually very well in, in some things that Paul Kula was, was saying in his talk and what he wants there from a linear algebra package. So we are developing a high-performance linear algebra package very much specific to, to the kind of big PD discretization problems that we are having in our group. So um, call it RSD, the Rust Linear Solver Toolbox, and um, it's still in development. We haven't done an official release yet, but I, I'll show you some of the principles. So it has basic and sparse data types. Uh, there's an interesting expression template-like mechanic in uh, for dense types that I'm going to talk about in slightly more, slightly more details. We've got interfaces to LaPeq routines, got single node and MPI distributed sparse matrix type. Uh, UMFEC interface is, is mostly there on the low level. We are still doing some high level cleanup there and uh, a couple of generic design features as well I'm going to mention. So yeah, why, why another toolbox? I mean, you've got ND, Array and, and Ultra. Both are really, really good packages. I've, I've used both of them and I like both of them very much. I mean, ND, Array, the, the focus is very much on powerful multi-dimensional based data, data types and, and one of those slicing parallel uh, accessors. It's, it's really unbeatable for that. And I, and algebra is, is very much a general purpose in the algebra library with extremely good support for, for uh, small statically allocated matrices, but, but also general purpose. Our vision is slightly differs, differs a little bit from, from those two libraries. Namely, we focus on comprehensive linear algebra support for PD discretizations. So we, we obviously also have some, some dense type and we need dense structures, but, but the, the focus for us is very much in PD discretizations and generalizing from that arbitrary objects and linear function spaces. I'm going to come to that a bit later. So what is um, the basic dense matrix data type for us. And um, so if, if you see this, we pop struct matrix. So essentially everything dense fits into a matrix and a matrix uh, has, has an item type and it's got the MUT implementation trait. That's the important thing which I'm going to talk about in a second. And then it's got a um, RS, which is the row size identifier and CS uh, column size identifier. And this can be dynamic or it can be fixed type. For example, when you want to deal with uh, fixed static matrices, we, we support that as well. So, but the important thing about this is the MAT input trait. And, and here where the magic is happening, the expression like uh, uh, um, lazy evaluation and eigentype uh, expression template arithmetic. So for example, let's look at the bottom at this very small computation here. Let rest equals two point times 2.0 times mat1 plus mat2, and then we say dot eval. The interesting thing is what happens if we say two times mat1 plus mat2. If you have something in Python or, or certain other uh, linear packages which, which do not support lazy evaluation, uh, what you do here is you, uh, you compute two times mat1, this creates a temporary, and then it's added to, uh, towards mat2 uh, to, to another result. But you have your temporary creation in the middle. And you also have uh, several passes through the arrays, not just one. So what we are doing here, uh, we are doing it very similar to, to Eigendus and C++ world, we're using a lazy expression template type arithmetic, which guarantees us that we are only having a single pass th through, through the whole expression. And this happens when we say dot eval at the end. And the beautiful thing is the single pass, we've taken very good care that whenever it's possible, it's actually auto simply vectorized. We've got some nice example with simply auto vectorization actually happening there. And, and you see almost everything being optimized out and you just have a very trivial for loop at the end in the LFVM representation, which has two times element from the one plus element from the other. And this this nice beautifully simply vectorized. And how does it look like in the uh, data type? Well, when one compiles this, yet yeah, here is the MUT input type. Here, for example, if I say two times MUT1, the MUT implementation type of this operation, it becomes a scalar multiplication operator, the scalar mult operator. And this addition is translated into an addition operator. And these are different MUT input types. With this at compile time, we statically build up this graph, uh, this calling graph. And then at the end with dot eval, it just, just evaluated through. 
So yeah, sparse metrics support um, also there. So we've got series sparse met CSR support and we also have distributed sparse CSR support. Uh, so far for distributed sparse metrics is what we do have is distributed sparse metrics vector product here working on, on more advanced algorithms right now. Uh, we do distribute rows across nodes and, and we, we have a ghost communicator infrastructure to, to communicate information. Um, we are also working on concept of abstract function spaces that that's extremely exp highly experimental what you see here probably going to change, but we want to be able to represent more arbitrary objects in linear spaces and let's say, for example, if a GMRS implementation should be able to work on any kind of thing that exists in linear linear space. So, and, and that's something we are working on at the moment, so that at the end you, you have a linear algebra library that cannot just work with vector symmetries, that can work with functions and other kind of linear object can work with any kind of linear object. So, so that's very much interesting experimental research that's going on right now. In terms of what we have in the package, uh, just this uh, overview, we've got common package, sparse operators, dense algorithms, and IO package, sub package. We have external interfaces. We're using uh, Bliss by default for our uh, Blast support because Bliss allows us to change threading and runtime between single thread and multi threaded. Very important for a lot of our applications for other people as well. You can change threading at runtime. Uh, we have a nice, very high level interface to net the playback routines, which is growing and growing in terms of size. So, so you can just say dot .linux dot .au, you could AU decomposition. Why and, uh, Netlib and, and Bliss and all this kind of nice stuff. Uh, we've got Umfpack already um, uh, hooked up and uh, for, for spasmatic solve single node, and we are planning MOMS for distributed spasmatic solves. And uh, we, we also need FFTs quite often. So, so that's that's also hopefully coming in some point soon. Um, the first official release is going to be expected later this year. In the meantime, if you want to use us or follow us, us but very experimental still, uh, just follow us on github.com, linux minus rs slash rst. Thanks a lot.